Hi. So we get involved. We get involved in this. Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. Thank you. What are you called? Ghetto Kids. Ghetto Kids? Yes. And your dad says? Yes. Oh, I'm good at this, huh? Oh, I'm tired now. I'm tired. Let's, let's, let's calm down. Do you think we should do a group selfie, yeah. guys? It is. <laughs> you know. It's all yours. Right, yes. Good luck. Enjoy. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Fun. Good luck. How are you? I'm okay, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. I'm so happy to meet you. I've been seeing you on the TV. Oh, oh nice. really? <laughs> how are you guys? Hi, Simon. How are you doing? We are good. We are so excited. Yes! So, tell everybody where you're from and what brings you to Britain's Got Talent today. Okay. Um, we are from Uganda, Kampala, Africa. So, we are going to dance for you guys and for you judges. Yes! Oh, thank you. Have you brought anyone with you? Mr. Kavmadaude. Is he there? Yes. Can you say hi? Can we say hi? Yeah, go on, please do. Hi. Oh, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about this group. I have 30 kids that I'm taking care of. Some are orphans. We are using music, dance and drama to make lives better. Amazing. Oh, my God, it's amazing. Bless you, darling. <laughs> That's incredible. Ghetto Kids is like an orphanage in Uganda. We are 30 kids living in one house. We are one big family. Before, I was living on the streets of Kampala. Being part of the Ghetto Kids has given me a lot of opportunities. They feed me, they go to school, they buy me clothes. If this one is sad, we all be sad. If we are happy, we all be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kavma Dauda, we call him dad. He's not our real father, but he's the one who takes care of all of us. Ghetto Kids is all about making their lives better through paying their school fees, feeding, hospital bills, all the basic needs that a child wants. My dream is to build a very big home and help many kids as I can. It's a happy place because it's all about making lives better through dance. Because of him, that's why we go to school. That's why we are healthy. Because of him, that's why we are here. This is the first time for the kids to be in London, and they are so excited. What do you think London's like? London, it's cold. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> I'll be so proud to watch all of them perform tonight. Because of dance, we are here. We can't wait. We are so happy. We are so excited. Take me to my happy place. Well, we're all rooting for you, and the yes. stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, look, look. Oh. We are the ghetto kids from the part of Africa, Uganda.
a place for you and I. A little space for you and I. never actually happened. <laughs> Normally, the golden buzzer is pressed afterwards. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it wrong! <laughs> yeah, someone didn't explain the rules of Britain's Got Talent to him. He gave you the golden <laughs> buzzer and you performed with the confetti. It was magical. <laughs> and by the way, who's this little one? My name is Josephine. Hello, Josephine. How old are you, Josephine? Five years. I just want to say, you're absolute superstars, every single one of you. What you're doing is absolutely incredible, and we are honoured that you have come to Britain's Got Talent. You've lit up the stage, and yes. the energy in the room and joy is incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your talent is unbelievable. And it felt to me like you'd really raised the bar on Britain's Got Talent, so well done. I was literally exploding, I'm telling you. You should be proud of yourself. I can't wait to see you back. That's yeah. all I can say. Yeah. I think it's incredible that you're so young, you've flown all the way, and no fear, this is an audition we're going to remember. And it was brilliant. That's what this show is all about. Yeah. And that's what the Golden Buzz is for. Wow, such a great talent. We have a lot of talent in Africa. These are just a few. Many are having great hidden talents that only needs, they only need development. That is why many of us normally call on our government, our institutions to create avenues that will bring out this talent. Because some of these things goes a long way to also add to the development of the country. Increased employment for many people, in addition to it, it gives the government a lot of revenue. We have been calling on our government always to just invest in the kids, invest in our youth, because many of them have great talent, many of them. Look at all these kids, they are all street children, street children. If this man had not engaged them, find them, manage them, build them up, harness their talent. They would, they would have been on the streets loitering about without even education. So we hope our government, our governments in Africa does a lot to assist street children uh, children who have lost their parents and all those things. There should be a social service is to support all these kids. So at the end of the day, they all become productive in the community. Guys, kindly subscribe to this channel and also engage in the comment section and let's keep the conversation going and sharing ideas about how to move our continent forward. Thank you for watching.